Since the beginning of time, humans have watched the sun rise, illuminating and warming the earth. We know exactly how it looks as it travels across the sky and even from the vantage points of other planets in our solar system. But what does it look like up close? What can we see when we examine the sun's surface? Hello, and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. As our only nearby star that can be studied in detail, the sun helps us understand other stars better. The more we learn about other stars, the more we can uncover about the Milky Way. Recently, NASA made significant progress by sending the Parker Solar Probe to skim our closest star's atmosphere, capturing amazing time-lapse footage. During its closest approach, the probe recorded electrically charged gas and plasma, known as coronal streamers, streaming into space, showcasing how strange the sun becomes up close. However, traveling to the sun isn't necessary to study it. For decades, astronomers have utilized a variety of tools, including ground-based telescopes and orbiting spacecraft, to investigate its scorching, mysterious layers. The sun is an enormous sphere of extremely hot plasma. Unlike Earth, it lacks a solid surface, being made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. The sun's surface is considered the first visible layer. The daylight that reaches Earth starts deep within the sun's core, produced through nuclear fusion. Light particles, called photons, bounce around inside, gradually moving outward and colliding with atoms. After tens of thousands of years, photons reach a less dense layer of plasma, allowing them to escape into space. This layer is known as the photosphere. The photosphere is the first layer of the solar atmosphere and the deepest we can observe directly. It is about 400 kilometers thick, or 250 miles, relatively thin compared to the sun's overall size, which holds 99.86% of the solar system's mass. Temperatures in the photosphere exceed 5,500 degrees Celsius or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt diamond. This remarkable footage of the sun's surface reveals dynamic, cell-like structures in unprecedented detail. What you see is the last layer before light escapes into space. At this point, photons, already thousands of years old, are released in all directions, with some reaching Earth after an 8-minute and 20-second journey. Captured using the Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope, these images are the highest resolution photos of the photosphere so far, showing details as small as 18 miles or 30 kilometers. The bubbling appearance of the photosphere is due to hot plasma rising to the surface, cooling, and sinking back down in a process called convection, similar to water bubbling in a boiling pot. Bright regions show new rising plasma, while dark edges indicate where it cools and sinks. Each cell is roughly the size of Texas, USA. Scattered across the photosphere are massive dark spots called sunspots, which appear darker because they are cooler than their surroundings by about two or 3,000 degrees. Sunspots result from disturbances in the sun's strong magnetic fields, which trap heat, preventing it from escaping. These magnetic fields are highly active, often tangling, crossing, and reorganizing, causing sudden powerful explosions of energy known as solar flares. Sometimes these flares accompany coronal mass ejections, which are massive bubbles of charged particles blasting into space at high speeds. These bursts of energy are spectacular, representing the solar system's largest explosive events. While we see the sun shining daily, only recently have we developed the technology to peer past its glare and study its unusual bubbling surface. By understanding the photosphere and monitoring magnetic fields, astronomers can predict potentially dangerous solar storms that might disrupt satellites and power grids on Earth. Additionally, this research helps test theories about the sun and solve some of its biggest mysteries. Of its biggest, the sun, our closest star, has captivated human curiosity for millennia. As the source of nearly all energy on Earth, 
Understanding its surface is crucial for grasping broader cosmic phenomena. Recent technological advancements have allowed us to observe the Sun in unprecedented detail, revealing a dynamic and intricate landscape. This essay delves into the appearance and behavior of the Sun's surface, elucidating its complex structure and the phenomena that occur there. The Solar Photosphere The surface of the Sun, known as the photosphere, is where the majority of the Sun's visible light is emitted. Contrary to what might be expected, the photosphere is not a solid surface, but rather a dense layer of gas. With temperatures averaging around 5,500 degrees Celsius, 9,132 degrees Fahrenheit, the photosphere is characterized by a granulated appearance caused by convection currents. These granules, each about the size of Texas, are regions where hot plasma rises, cools, and sinks back down, creating a constantly shifting, boiling pattern. Sunspots and Solar Activity One of the most intriguing features of the photosphere is the presence of sunspots. These dark patches are regions of intense magnetic activity where the temperature is significantly cooler than the surrounding areas, making them appear darker. Sunspots can be massive, often larger than Earth, and their number fluctuates in cycles approximately 11 years long. During periods of high solar activity, known as solar maximum, sunspots are more numerous and can give rise to solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CMEs, which can have significant effects on space weather and even impact Earth's technological systems. The chromosphere and solar prominences above the photosphere lies the chromosphere, a layer of the sun's atmosphere that appears as a reddish glow during solar eclipses. The chromosphere is home to fascinating phenomena such as solar prominences, huge loops of glowing plasma that are anchored to the sun's surface by magnetic fields. These prominences can extend thousands of kilometers into space and last for days or even weeks, providing a dramatic and dynamic spectacle. The corona and solar wind beyond the chromosphere is the corona, the sun's outermost layer, which extends millions of kilometers into space. The corona is surprisingly hotter than the underlying layers with temperatures soaring into the millions of degrees Celsius. This paradoxical heating is still not fully understood but it is believed to be related to magnetic waves and reconnection events. The corona is also the origin of the solar wind, a stream of charged particles that flows outward through the solar system, influencing planetary magnetospheres and contributing to phenomena such as the auroras on Earth. Modern Observations The Solar Dynamics Observatory Recent advancements in solar observation have revolutionized our understanding of the Sun's surface. The Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, launched by NASA in 2010, provides continuous high-definition imagery of the Sun in multiple wavelengths. These observations have unveiled the Sun's surface in astonishing detail, capturing the intricate dance of magnetic fields, the emergence of sunspots, and the evolution of solar prominences. The SDO's data have been instrumental in predicting space weather and understanding the fundamental processes driving solar activity. Conclusion The surface of the Sun is a dynamic and complex environment, teeming with activity and phenomena that influence the entire solar system. From the bubbling granules of the photosphere to the towering prominences of the chromosphere and the searing heat of the corona, the Sun presents a constantly shifting mosaic of patterns and behaviors. Modern technology has enabled us to see our closest star like never before, providing insights that deepen our understanding of not only the Sun itself, but also the broader workings of the universe. As we continue to explore and study the Sun, we can look forward to uncovering even more secrets of this magnificent celestial body.